میکنی گڈ مارننگ ویلکم ٹو دا ڈیلی ڈیولپمنٹ سو ٹوڈے ویل ٹیک اپ دا فرسٹ از سو
Bone, bawal lah tu. Hela, hela kan? Muka ni pura full screen je, kena dia siapa? Cepat aja, muka orang sedih sedih lagi tu plus pun je. So first topic that we take is Allah the High Court allow carbon dating of the Ganavapi Sibilingo. The Ganavapi Masjid, so there is trace of the Sibilingo. So there is confusion, an allegation that a temple was there before the mosque was created by destroying the temple. And as a number of Sibilingo were discovered from there, so the controversy is gaining prominence why so uh, the Allahabad High Court ordered a scientific survey including carbon dating of a Sibilingo said to have been found at the Yanababi Mosque complex in Baranasi after setting aside a, a lower court order on this particular issue okay the lower court has uh, ordered not to go for this but the Allahabad High Court has ordered a scientific survey including carbon dating Okay, uh, on May 16th last year, a court order, videographic survey of the Kasi Vishwanath Temple, Ganavapi Mast, was completed by a commission appointed by the local court. During the survey proceedings, a structure claimed to be a civil linga by the Hindu side and a fountain by the Muslim side was found inside the mosque premises inside the well. In uh, their plea before the High Court, the Hindu petitioner had requested to make scientific investigation at the carbon dating or otherwise to determine the age, nature and other constituents of the feasible lingam. What is the science behind this carbon dating? Carbon dating is a uh, scientific method of determining the age. Carbon dating is a widely used method to establish the age of the organic material, things that we are once living. Living things have carbon in them in various forms. Okay. देखेंगे कौन हो चुका है सुनाएं ना कौन कौन नेक्स्ट पेज में लोगे मिलते ही जाओ ची देखेंगे लोग डांस लो The dating method is based on the fact that carbon C14, an isotope of carbon with an atomic mass of 14, is radioactive and decay as well as a well-known rate. The most abundant isotope of carbon in the atmosphere is C12. A very small amount of C14 is also present in the atmosphere. The ratio of C12 to C14 in the atmosphere is almost static and is known. 
Plants get their carbon through photosynthesis. Animals get it mainly through food. Because plant and animals get their carbon from the atmosphere, they to acquire C12 and C14. They adopt the same proportion as is available in the atmosphere. When they die, their interaction with the atmosphere stops. While C12 is unstable, the radioactive uh, of C14 reduces to half-life or itself in about 5730 years, known as the half-life. The changing ratio of the C12 to C14 in the remain of the plant or animal after it dies can be measured and can be used to deduce the approximate time when organism died. But what about non-living things like the purported sibling and biodiversity? Because this carbon dating method is used for the living uh, being, plant uh, or animals. But this is a stone and this is a non-living entity. So extremely effective carbon dating cannot be applied uh, in all circumstances. It cannot be used to determine the age of non-living things like rock or example. For example. Also the age of things that are more than uh, 40,000, 50,000 years old cannot be arrived at through carbon dating. This is because after 8 to 10 cycle of half-lives, the amount of C14 became almost very small and is almost undetectable. But there are other methods to calculate the age of uh, inanimate things, many of which are based on the same principle as carbon dating. So instead of carbon decay of other radioactive elements that might be present in the uh, material uh, became the basis for the dating methods. Uh, these are known as radioactive, uh, radiometric dating methods. Many of these involve elements with half-lives of billions of years, which enable scientists to reliably estimate the age of the very old objects. Two commonly employed methods for dating uh, rocks are uh, potassium uh, uh, argon dating, the radioactive isotope of potassium decay into argon and their ratio can uh, give a clue about the age of the rock. So what is the method? It is called the uh, potassium decay okay, or potassium argon dating. Then uranium thorium uh, lead dating, uranium and thorium have several radioactive isotopes and all of them decay into stable uh, lead atoms. The ratio of these elements present in the material can be measured and used to make estimates about age. There are also methods to determine how long an object has remained exposed to sunlight. These apply different techniques but are uh, again based on radioactive decay and are particularly useful in studying buried objectives or changes in topology. The most common of these is called uh, cosmogenic uh, nucleidating or CRN and is regularly applied to study the edges of ice core in polar region. In some situations, carbon dating can be used indirectly as well. For example, a way in which the edge of ice core in glaciers and polar regions determined by studying carbon dioxide molecules trapped inside large ice sheets. The trapper, trapped molecules have no interaction with the outside atmosphere and are found in the same state as when they were trapped. Determining their age give a rough estimate of the time when the ice sheet were formed. How long a rock has been at a particular place can also be determined similarly. Organic materials like dead plants or insects trapped underneath can give an indication of when the rock reached that place. So how does all of this fit into the Ganavapi case? In the Ganavapi case, the Hindu petitioner claimed that the Ganavapi mosque was built on an ancient Hindu temple. The purported Shivalinga is being cited by the Hindu uh, site as an evidence for existence of the temple. In this case, the petitioner proposed would like to serve it as, as established the, through the Shivalinga existed at that place before the must came up in 1669. But there are still uh, be specific limitations. The structure cannot be uprooted or disrupted as per the order of the Supreme Court. So methods like looking for trap organic material beneath it might not be feasible. So, uh, but the scientific uh, study of the age of the uh, that Sibirlingam uh, uh, located there, the Ganabapi must inside the well. So, it, it, it will definitely give the edge of the Sibirlingam and if it is uh, older than 1669 in which year the masjid was built, so definitely it will lead to some uh, inferences that a temple was there before the masjid was constructed in 1669. Okay, so the use of science to determine the age of the uh, Sibalingam may help to some extent in this particular 
डोमेन फाइन देन द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज अबाउट द पब्लिक हेल्थ इंडिया रिकॉर्डेड मैक्सिमम प्री बर्थ प्री टर्म बर्थ इन 2020 हैंडिंग ऑफ द वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिपोर्ट सो 3.2 मिलियन इंडियन रिकॉर्डेड द हाईएस्ट नंबर ऑफ प्री टर्म बर्थ इन 2020 अकॉर्डिंग टू द वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बर्न टू सून डिकेड ऑफ एक्शन ऑन प्री टर्म बर्थ रिपोर्ट रिलीज इन मे 9 2023 द रिपोर्ट एनालाइजेस प्री टर्म बर्थ अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड and suggest changes to health care system and society avoid them what are the preterm births baby born alive before 37 weeks of pregnancy uh, are complete uh, are known as preterm babies based on gestational age uh, there are three category of preterm birth as defined by who extremely preterm less than 28 weeks very preterm 22 less than 32 weeks moderate to late preterm 32 to 37 weeks But the baby born prior to 37 week are called as the preterm babies. Okay, preterm birth can happen both spontaneously or for several medical reasons, including infection or other pregnancy complications that require indication of labor or uh, cesarean birth. Finding of the report, uh, according to World Health Organization report, rate of preterm birth has barely changed between 2010 and 2020. In fact, it is even raising in some parts of the world. In 2020, an estimated 13.4 million babies were born preterm. A preterm birth is the single largest killer of children under five years of age. According to estimate, one uh, around one million newborns died due to preterm birth rate complications in 2020. Preterm birth rates were 9.9 percent in 2020 compared to 9.8 percent in 2010. In high burden regions, change in the preterm birth was barely measurable. In South Asia, it stood at 13.3 percent in 2010 and 13.2 percent in 2020. So, hardly 0.1 percent uh, fall in the preterm birth rate in South Asia between 10 years. So, that means so uh, tangible action has not been reflected into uh, any uh, so uh, any tangible achievement. Okay, all those steps have been taken by the government, but the tangible uh, result. is not visible in this particular domain because within 10 years so the actual fall is very measurable 0.01 okay the real fall in the preterm birth rate okay so 10 country which reduced their preterm birth by more than 5% in between 2010 to 2020 as the czech republic austria brunei singapore spain netherlands denmark hungary brazil and sweden Although this amount was annual average reduction of only about 0.5 percent per year, but in India, so in 10 years period, hardly the fall is 0. Uh, okay, so 0.1 uh, percent. Okay, 0.01 percent, which is very very measurable, and it shows that the situation remain as it was 10 years before. Okay. A uh, preterm birth rate increased by more than five percent in thirteen countries: Poland, Iceland, Croatia, UK, Bulgaria, Armenia, Bahrain, Ireland, Chile, Georgia, Colombia, and Republic of Korea, North Macedonia. In the same period, in 2020, around 1.2 million preterm birth uh, newborns were estimated to be born in the ten countries. डायरेक्टली अफेक्ट दस 
through pathway of viral transmission from mother to baby uh, poor placental functioning and reduced maternal capacity due to uh, symptomatic disease it is suspected that the transmission pathways could have contributed to an increased risk of premature birth as well as greater need for neonatal intensive care okay and for the neonatals so government has made intensive care arrangement issue for the neonatals because so if the number of babies born preterm are increasing so to save their life they need uh, so incubator like condition and this uh, neonatal uh, icu are being developed at the uh, government interventions at different hospitals to save the life of the neonatals okay and who are uh, premature or preterm babies how do preterm babies affect survivors preterm birth is the fourth leading cause of loss of human capital worldwide at all ages uh, uh, being uh, uh, behind uh, is make our disease pneumonia and diarrheal disease between 1990 to 2019 neonatal conditions were the leading cause of disability adjusted life years in most regions these include neonatal uh, encephalopathy and infections as well as uh, congestional conditions preterm birth is associated with long term damage to respiratory and cardiac system for many survivors and can also have a neurodevelopmental impact disability can range from less severe outcomes to major disability like the diphagia the report say that most preterm babies are born between 32 to 36.9 weeks and that being born even a few weeks preterm can cause learning and behavioral disorder uh, babies born between 37 to 39.9 weeks are at a slightly higher risk of adverse neurodevelopmental outcomes okay so because the babies born uh, preterm have uh, neurological issue their brain is not that mature so their uh, mental condition remains that uh, and they at times suffer this for throughout their life that is why so care is to be taken for the uh, uh, to checking this syndrome okay but this is growing around the world sustainable development goal and newborn uh, mortality the united nations aim to end preventable death of newborns and children under the five years of age by 2030 as part of its sustainable development goal with all country aiming to reduce both neonatal and under five mortality according to who 54 countries will fall short of meeting the sdg target for under five mortality and 63 countries will not achieve the sdg target for neonatal mortality unless quality of care for newborn and young child is improved at 32.3.2 uh, million india recorded the highest number of premature uh, preterm birth in 2020 according to the world health organizations born too soon uh, decade of action on preterm birth report babies born alive before 37 week of pregnancy are uh, complete uh, as uh, are called preterm babies according to the who report rates of preterm birth have barely changed between 2010 to 2020 in fact it is even rising in some parts of asia while 2020 an estimated 13.4 million babies were born preterm and the situation has not improved with efforts by the government at different countries okay preterm birth associated with long term damage to respiratory and uh, cardiac system for many survivors and can also have a neurodevelopmental impact disability can range from less severe outcomes to major disability like the uh, diphagia fine uh, then the next topic is an economic topic but the government's new gst compliance measure say and how they could impact business in two significant measures to cut tax evasion or increase compliance under the uh, goods and service tax regime the government has decided to lower the threshold for business to generate e invoice for business to business uh, transactions from uh, 10 crore to 5 crore and has rolled out the automated return scrutiny module for gst return in a uh, back end application for central tax officers So, uh, amid rising instance of GST fraud and case of fake invoice, these challenges are expected to broaden the compliance mandated 
मैंडेट फॉर मोर बिजनेस स्पेशली स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइज एंड ऑल्सो हेल्प बूस्ट द जी एस टी रेवेन्यू कलेक्शन वट इज द ऑटोमेटेड रिटर्न स्कूटिंग मॉड्यूल ओके दिस विल एनाबल द फीसर्स टू स्कूटिनाइज जी एस टी रिटर्न ऑफ सेंट्रल एडमिनिस्टर टैक्स पे सिलेक्टेड टू On the basis of anal analytics and uh, risk identified by the system, the discrepancy on account of risk associated with the return will be displayed on the tax officers. They will interact with the taxpayers through the GST and common portal for communication of the discrepancies noticed in return and subsequent action in form of either in, uh, issuance of an order of acceptance, okay, uh, of or reply or issuance of a so called notice. For or initiation of audit and investigation. Okay, so the automated return scrutiny module has already commenced with the scrutiny of just return for 2019-2020 with the required data already with the tax officers. And the uh, changes for e-invoicing, the government has also lowered the threshold for business to generate e-invoice for business to business B2B transactions to 5 crore from 10 crore under GST. The change will come into effect from August 1st. At present, business with turnover of 10 crore and above are required to generate e invoice for all B2B transactions, but right now it has reduced to 5 crore. Okay. But the e invoicing envisage the GST Council in its 37th meeting in September 2019 has approved the standard of e invoice with the primary objective to enable interoperability across the entire GST ecosystem. Under this phase implementation was proposed to ensure a common standard for all invoices that is an e invoice generated by one software should be capable of uh, being read by any other software and through machine readability an invoice can then be uniformly interpreted with a uniform invoicing system the tax authority are able to pre-populate that uh, re return and reduce the reconciliation issues with a high number of cases involving the fake invoices and fraud uh, availment of input tax credit, GST authority have pushed for implementation of this e-invoicing system which is expected to help uh, uh, to curb the action of tax avoiders the, uh, and reduce the number of frauds uh, the tax authority will have access to data in real time. E-invoicing was initially implemented for a large company with a turnover of 500 crore and within 3 years the threshold has now been lowered to 5 crore. Okay. Uh, so this is what the government initiative to uh, even uh, put the small companies under this uh, e-inversing system to make the system more facilitating. E-inversing for the B2B transaction was made mandatory for business which are number of uh, 500 crore from 1st of October 2020. Then it was extended to business to turn over 100 crore from January 2021 after which it has extended to business to turn over 50 crore from 1st April 2021 and then threshold to 20 crore from 2022 and reduced to 10 crore October 20 and now it has been further reduced to 5 crore. So see from 5 crore okay from 500 crore so the amount has come down to only 5 crore okay so, so the, this shows that the government seriousness on collecting GST and how government is putting emphasis on more and more GST collection being uh, getting uh, enthusiasm
invoice for the B2B transactions was made mandatory for business starting from 500 crore and right now reduced to 5 crore. Uh, then the MPUX, monkeypox. Okay. The World Health Organization uh, said that monkeypox was no longer a global uh, health emergency. The organization declared monkeypox a public health emergency for international concern in July 2022 and backed its stand in November and February. About MPOX, it is an infectious disease caused by the monkeypox virus. It can cause a painful rash, enlarged uh, lymphatic nodes and fever. Most people fully recovered but some get very sick. It was discovered in Denmark in 1958 in monkeys for research and then first reported women case of monkeypox. Nine month uh, old boy in the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo in 1970. In 2022, the disease, uh, disease name was changed by WHO from monkeypox to mpox to reduce the racial and sexual stigma surrounding it. Transition it can spread from person to person or occasionally from animal to people. Treatment and vaccinations, early and supportive care is important to help manage symptom and avoid future problem. For the problem, getting a mpox vaccine can help prevent the infection. Sakyam, the Minister of Health and Family Welfare launched the Sakyam uh, e-learning management information system. Okay, Sakyam is an initiative developed by the National Institute of Health and Family Welfare, which provide all health-related training program to healthcare professionals for the country in digital mode. The dedicated and unified platform will provide training and medical education in online mode. It is a learning management information system which will be developed as a centralized resource repository for training and teaching material. With, uh, we'll deal with case-based uh, learning in the health sector. We'll have documented best practices in health-related teaching and training. Uh, we'll also act as a central database for training healthcare professionals in the country. Currently, Sakyam uh, LIMS is hosting more than 200 public health and 100 clinics uh, course through online mode. The health professional can register themselves for these courses on the portal and get the certificate after undergoing required training and qualifying the required assessment criteria. This digital learning platform will ensure inclusive capacity building of health professionals from primary health center located in rural and remote area all the way up to the tertiary care and corporate hospitals in metropolitan cities. Then the iDrone initiative, Indian Council of Medical Research and Human Health Ministry successfully conducted a trial run of the blood bag delivery by drones under the iDrone initiative. For this iDrone initiative, the project iDrone, ICMR, Drone Response and Outreach for the Northeast assessed the feasibility of using drones to deliver vaccine and medical supplies. iDrone was first used in the COVID-19 pandemic for distributing vaccine to unreachable areas. This was carried out in a difficult geographical terrain including land, island, foothills and across the hills. The medical supplies delivered under the iDrone project included COVID-19 vaccine, vaccine huge routine immunization program, antenatal care medicines, multivitamins, syringes and gloves. The operation connected with the district hospital to the community and primary health care centers in the district. So uh, what is the significance, clarity on uh, challenge mapping and uh, Identifying the possible solutions can be achieved by developing indigenous capacities in the research and introduction of the innovations and technology in the mainstream. The boost of technology is the accelerator which is gradually pushing India towards achieving the status of being a developed nation. It will uh, lead to development of the SOP uh, standard operating procedure for wider applicability and use of drones for delivery of blood bags and components. Additionally. It will provide answers to whether drones will be used as a method of transportation uh, for temperature sensitive blood products in the remote localization of the country. The drone based delivery of blood will reduce the time for last uh, mile delivery within the country. Okay. Then the next topic is the Indo Thai uh, Co Cut combined uh, tar target or combined operations. The 35th edition of the Indo Thai Coordinated Patrol. Indo Thai core part between the two navies, the Indian Navy and the Royal Thai Navy has conducted. The Indian Navy and the Royal Thai Navy have been conducting co part biannually since 2000. Uh, because this is done, so 
since 2005 okay along the international maritime boundary lines it build understanding the interoperability between the navy and facilitated institutional measure to prevent and uh, suppress unlawful activity like illegal uh, unreported unregulated fishing drug trafficking piracy and arm robbery importance it is another step towards enhancing the indian navy's efforts to consolidate interoperability and forge strong bond of friendship between the india and thailand it will reinforce maritime linkages between the two countries it further helps enhance the operational synergy for exchanging informations for the prevention of smuggling and illegal migration and for the conduct of search and rescue operations at sea then the last topic is the indian ocean conference Bangladesh will host the sixth Indian Ocean Conference scheduled to be held between May 12 to 13 in Dhaka. Okay, it will discuss aspect, uh, aspects strengthening cooperation between the country of the Indian Ocean region. The sixth edition of the conference is being organized by Indian Foundation in association with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Bangladesh, and S uh, Rajaratnam School of International Studies. Peace, prosperity, and partnership for a resilient future is the theme of the summit or conference. The conference endeavors to bring critical states and principal maritime partners of the region together on a common platform to deliberate upon the prospect of regional cooperation for security and growth of the all in the region sagar initiative you know indian ocean the sagar initiative is a joint uh, uh, mission launch for security and growth for all because all the maritime countries in the indian ocean region okay so they are synergizing their efforts for achieving common target of growth okay that is the sagar initiative and india and bangladesh india and uh, uh, all the indian ocean countries are also member of this that try so if they are included included in this uh, sagar initiative launched by uh, this combined group so it will definitely help them for joining or synergizing their efforts in achieving some goals the conference endeavors to bring critical states and principal maritime partners of the region together on a common platform to deliberate upon the prospect of regional cooperation for security and growth of all in the region the first edition of the conference was held in singapore in 2016 then come to the question answer discuss the factors responsible for the continued existence of communalism in india what do you think uh, should be done to address the problem of communalism communalism is based on the assumption that indian society divided into religious communities Which interests not only differ but are even opposed to each other. Then aggressive uh, political ideology linked to religion. However, communalism is about politics and not about religion. Although communalist communalists are intensely involved with religion, there is no necessary necessary relationship between the personal faith and communalism. One of the characteristics feature of the communalism is its claim that uh, religious identity overrides everything else. factor responsible for the continued existence of communalism in india the british used the policy of divide and rule to weaken the nationalist aspirations by creating a cleavage between the hindus and the muslims it resulted in communal tension between the two groups and it is considered that the hindu muslim disunity took shape during the continuation of the british rule in india the partition of uh, india uh, the partition of india was the ultimate outcome this policy of communalism promoted by the british as to the muslims the socio economic inequality the inter the internal stress and strain between the majority community and the minority community for the purpose of socio economic necessity of life also promote communal hatred mass poverty and unemployment create a sense of frustration among the people the unemployed youth of both community can be easily trapped by religious fundamentalist and are used by them to cause communal riots religious uh, fundamentalism fundamentalism and communalism have certain ideological elements in common both attack the concept of separation of religion from politics and the uh, state and the state both oppose the concept of equal uh, truth in all religions this is opposed to the concept of religious harmony and tolerance communalism of politics electoral politics in india have become more expensive expensive and competitive political parties are not hesitant hesitating to use any means whether fair or foul for electoral uh, victory they even create communal tension and try to take political advantage 
of it. Therefore, the communalization of politics as a process is supporting the growth of communalism in India. Role of media. The role of media remain quite powerful in uh, spreading communal ideology, behavior and reaction of different communities. Rumor uh, abetted by the media play a role in almost every major communal riot. Uh, from Mujafar Nagar riots in 2013 are a prime example of how social media can play an active role during the communal tension and can uh, add uh, fuel to the fire. Role of external elements, external elements including non-state actors have a hand in making a problem of communalism worse. They aim to create an atmosphere of instability and uh, gain the sympathy of the minority community. Major to address the problem of communalism, value-based education, emphasis should be on imparting value such as compassion, secularism, peace, non-violence and humanitarian through education and uh, building a scientific tem tem temper in society. Reforming criminal justice system. The criminal justice system, especially arising out of communalism, communal violence, has often been criticized. Measures should be taken to reform police procedures and practice and set up special investigation and uh, prosecuting agency for the timely delivery of justice. Removing ideological bias, new channels. Uh, play a huge role in influencing the view and mindset of people. So when they are biased towards one community or religion, they can develop bias in the uh, aptitude of people watching these new channels. Therefore, the media should focus on presenting balanced opinion to the viewers. Facilitating, uh, facilitating social and cultural mingling, steps such as understanding uh, different cultures by arranging festivals, feast and social gathering, preventing uh, ghettoizing, uh, ghettoization or gathering uh, and, uh, uh, and geographical segregation based on religion, uh, promoting inter-religious marriages etc. should be taken. Okay. Involving civil society. Okay. So uh, uh, involving civil society in building communal awareness. Non-governmental organizations can tie up with the government to create communal awareness, build strong community relations and uh, uh, cultivate values of communal harmony. Then transmission of this past heritage attempts should be made to remain uh, to remind the countrymen of the of those glorious moments of history in which the Hindus, Muslim and the Sikh were combined to safeguard the interest of the nation. Further, people should be made aware of how Indian diversity has served as a source of unity for the country because it is called that we are a country of unity among diversity because we are a diverse country but in the past we have been so able to exhibit uh, unity amidst the diversity okay then uh, implementing uniform uh, transfer okay Implementing Uniform Civil Code, the principle of Uniform Civil Code is laid down in Article 44 of the Constitution. So without the Uniform Civil Code, it is seen that each community has different and conflicting interests. Implementing uh, it can help in narrowing uh, religious differences. Okay, communalism was the was and continues to be one of the major challenges to democracy in your country. The makers of the Constitution were aware of this challenge and therefore choose the secular state model. Further communal prejudices and propaganda need to be countered in every life, everyday life, and uh, religious based mobilization need to be countered in the arena of politics. Then, coming to the MCQs, what is the following statement regarding the Dung uh, Dung? Okay, the Dung Dung Dung, also called the Sea Cow. It is a herbivorous mammal. The second largest population is found in the Arabian uh, Gulf. The uh, conservation status of is huge, vulnerable. So uh, here, so for this, all of these are correct. Answer is D. What is the following statement regarding the Juba Pratibha culinary talent test hunt May 2012 2023? My government, in collaboration, uh, my GOB, in collaboration with the Institute of Hotel Management, a PUSA will launch the Juba Pratibha culinary talent test. The objective is to promote culinary talent in the Indian youth. 
So both one and two are correct in this question. And millet is being given emphasis in this particular event. So how many, uh, who can pre prepare how many uh, menu using the millets? Because 2023 being a year for millet internationally. Consider the following statement regarding the Indian Ocean Conference. Theme, Peace, Prosperity and Partnership for the Resilient Future. Bangladesh is host to the 6th Indian Ocean Conference in Dhaka. The first technical conference was held at Singapore. Okay. So, this, all of these are correct. The following statement regarding the CH-47F Chinook helicopter. It is an advanced multi-mission helicopter. It is used for transportation of troops, artillery supply and equipment to the battlefield. It contains a fully integrated digital cockpit management system. So here in question number 4, all of these are correct. About the uh, Bilgiri uh, Ranga Summit uh, Temple Tiger Reserve, it is located in uh, Chamaraj Nagar district of Tamil Nadu. No, it is in Karnataka, not Tamil Nadu. Okay, so this is wrong. This unique bio geographical habitat in the uh, middle of the bridge between the Western and the Western Ghats, right? The declared Tiger Reserve 2011. But two and three are correct. But one is incorrect because it's not. It is in Karnataka, not in Tamil Nadu. What's the following statement regarding the Sakyam? Uh, uh, stimulating advanced knowledge for sustainable health management scheme. It is launched by the Minister of Health and Family Welfare. It is a learning management information system. This provides all health related training programs to healthcare professionals of the country in digital mode. So here all are correct. Against the following statement about the Indo Thai Copat, the 35th edition of the Indo Thailand uh, coordinated patrol Indo Thai Copat between India and Indian Navy and Royal Thai Navy was con conducted. The Indian Navy and the Royal Thai Navy have been conducting Copat biannually since 2005. Okay, so uh, both are correct. About the iDrone initiative, the concept of iDrone, ICMR, drone response and outreach for the Northeast started with the feasibility of using drone to deliver vaccines and medical supplies. So during the pandemic, okay, this is this is right. Uh, then the iDrone was first used during the COVID-19 pandemic for distributing vaccine to the unreachable areas, right? The operation connected the district hospital to the community and primary health care center in the district. Okay, so. Uh, all of these are correct in question number 8. Then 9, choose the incorrect answer, uh, the following statement regarding the preterm birth. Babies born alive before 40 weeks of pregnancy are complete, uh, are complete, complete are called preterm babies. Okay. That is right. 37 weeks especially, uh, after 37. So, uh, okay. Uh, preterm babies can uh, uh, happen both spontaneously and for several other medical uh, reasons including infections and other pregnancy complications that requires early induction of labor or cesarean birth. Okay. So, uh, according to WHO report, the rate of preterm birth has estimated 13.4 million babies who were born premature. Okay. Uh, 3.2 billion Indian recorded the highest number of preterm birth in 2020. So all the four are correct. So one A B C D one two three four. All these four are correct. Now which is the following method used to uh, rough dating? Potassium argon dating, uranium thorium dating. So both are used for dating the life of the or the uh, life to know the life of a particular rock. This way today's question answer discussion and the current development is over. Keep watching regularly to update yourself on a regular basis about the development going on around you for different examinations. It will be very, very useful. Keep watching regularly. Thank you.